So today I've got an unboxing from a new brand that I've never worked with before. I got this package from the guys at All Pedal. Now, this is really cool. I mean, they've got their own branded packaging, which is great. I've never actually seen a brand that has put this much effort into packing items before. They've got their own branded bags, which is a really nice touch. So I've never actually worked with All Pedal before. They're a new brand for me to work with, but I've got a few items in my queue to check out from them. So we're gonna crack this open and see what they've sent me. So these guys are a US-based pedal company. Uh, the pedals have come from KY in the States, which I believe is Kentucky. I don't know if that's where the brand are based, but there's some links to their website down below in the description. They make some really cool pedals. A lot of their stuff is, aside from being really well packed, really interesting. So they do a lot of cool stuff, like there's a bunch of signature pedals for a few artists like Satchel from Steel Panther and Jeff Loomis, who I believe has played with Arch Enemy and a couple of other quite heavy bands. So what they've sent me today is the Macrodose Envelope Filter. So this is kind of like an auto wah type pedal from what I've seen online. It looks like it's a lot of fun. So the packaging is great actually, I'm really, really like the way they package things. They've got these nice printed boxes, very, very high quality. This pedal, from what I've gathered, does a lot. So I don't think we're gonna be able to cover too many of the tones in today's video, just because of how much it does. But there it is. There is the All Pedal Macrodose. Now this is the sort of pedal that looks quite complicated and I guess it kind of is because it does a lot. So I haven't read the manual yet. So by the time I do my full length demo of this, I will have read the manual, but today I'm just gonna plug it in and we'll make some noises. Now, aside from the pedal, there's a few other really cool things in the box. So I've got some rubber feet. If you're gonna not put it on a pedal board, I've got some stickers, which is always nice. But this thing, oh, aside from a really cool multicolored pick that isn't quite showing on my autofocus there, there we go. It's a nice little touch if you can see that because of my camera. This is something actually that is a really cool touch that I had no idea they did this. And what they sent me, the back of this has got a really nice intricate design on it. Now it would be a shame to cover that in Velcro, I think you'll agree. Unless you've got a spare plain black back plate. Now that is an incredible thing to have in the box because that means you don't have to wreck this nice back plate. You can just stick this one on and put your Velcro on that. So that I think all pedal is something great. That is something actually I'd like to see more pedal brands thinking about doing. So this thing is an auto filter, wah envelope filter type pedal. It has a lot of different controls on there as you can see. I mean, there's so many different things that I'm definitely gonna have to read the manual before I do my full length video on this, just because I need to know what this thing does as well. We've got a warp control, frequency, resonance, depth, blend, volume, a low pass, band pass, and high pass filter, uh, a shape control, which changes the shape of the envelope. Uh, we've also got a mode control, which has loads of different modes on there, a tap tempo, and a bypass switch. So yeah, there's a lot to, uh, a lot to cover on this thing. So I'm just gonna plug it in now and make some noises. And you can tell me what you think of the out of the box sounds and then I'll go back and make a full length video on this where we'll actually read the manual and learn what all of these things do. So gear wise for this, I'm using my Vola Oz JRM guitar, which is plugged into the Blackstar Studio 10 6L6, which is running completely clean. The Blackstar Studio 10 is running via the two notes torpedo Captor X straight into my DAW. Now the first thing I'm gonna do, because I don't know what anything does, is I'm just gonna set everything on the macro dose to midnight. That's usually a good starting point for most pedals. So let's just get everything to midnight. I have no idea whether midnight is the right thing for the shape and mode features. So I'm playing completely clean. And I'm just gonna turn this on now and move some controls and see what it does.
So straight away with everything on midnight, that's just quite a nice funky Ottawa sound. So I don't know too much about, you know, the shape and the mode control. There's a lot of different options there. So I'm going to save that for my full length video. It's currently set on band pass mode. Now I'm just going to quickly move through some of the things on the top. So we've got the warp control, which does this. So when it's turned down, you get more of a subtle effect. And then when it's cranked, it's the speed of it. So in the higher settings, we get these really extreme kind of sounds. So that's probably something we're going to keep in the lower setting if we want a more subtle effect. The frequency, this is going to be the frequency of the peak, I guess. The lower we set that, the darker. And then the higher we set that, we're going to get a bit more of a spiky tone. Uh, we've got the resonance. So we can hear that gives us more of the sort of the sort of the peak on the wah, the depth control. Again, more intensity there. The blend, which I believe is going to be a clean blend. So in the zero position, completely clean. And at full, we should just get the signal of the pedal. pretty cool because we can blend in the right amount of clean tone because we get the full effect of the filter coupled with the that kind of percussive nature of the guitar so i'm just going to play a little bit clean and I'm going to tweak some controls. I'm going to move between low pass, band pass, and high pass filter. I'm not really going to dive too much into the shape and mode switches in this video because I really want to read up on what they do properly so I can do those features justice in the full length video. Some quite nice tones there. I'm going to kick on the Kunum Ridge now, just for some overdriven variations. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
probably a bit too much of an extreme setting for what I would use it for. I actually really like some of those more subtle filtery sounds. I know this pedal is obviously designed to do way more than just subtle filtery stuff, but I really like that sound. That is probably where I would set and forget this pedal if I was just going to use it for one tone. That's probably what I would do. So again, let's just tweak a little bit more with the drive tone. So yeah, there's some great tones in that. I really, really like a lot of the tones I'm hearing there. I really like that this is a filter pedal that I can really tweak to my needs. I'm a big fan of Ottawa's and, and envelope filter pedals, but I haven't quite yet found one that allows me to really fine tune exactly what I want. Everyone I've tried so far is always like, almost there, but not quite. This thing, however, has all of those extra things that I think I'm missing from a great envelope filter. So I'm going to have a lot of fun digging into this thing fully. Now, obviously, next time you see this pedal on the channel, I'm going to have read the manual and I'll know what everything does. So you'll actually have a full understanding and explanation of what the shape and mode controls do as well. So please keep a watch out for that video, which will be coming very, very soon. Let me know down below in the comments what you thought of the first impressions of the Macrodose. And while you're down there, don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys very soon. Thanks, as always, for watching.